Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance in the previous episode. We did it. We managed to beat the game, the final new boss, and we did it with Lilith. What? But we did unlock the alt Lilith, which is scary. Um, oh god, the music change. We're going to quickly jump in and check out what's going on with alt Lilith. But, but, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love that so much. Alt Lilith is awesome. We are. We are. We are. <laughs> this is fantastic. What even? How does this work with Monstro's Lung? Oh my god, this is so unbelievably fantastic. Oh my god. This is the best thing ever. I love this so much. Although, now with uh, with it charging up, it, it does seem worse with Monstro's Lung. But, what I was going to say is, we're not going to play the alt characters yet. We're going to do the normal stuff first. We'll get to the alt characters later. Do not fret. We'll get to the alt characters. But, we have... So many unlocks left on the normal characters to go. We really should try and get a lot of those first. And then we'll move on to the alt characters. Because they're pretty cool. They're pretty awesome. But it's a lot to take in. And they're also a lot harder. So, oh, that that that's made me excited that there's going to be some cool stuff. But we, we're going to try and unlock other alt characters as well as just do other stuff. So we're going to do it one as the Keeper. The Keeper actually has been changed quite a bit. He's a lot better than he was before. So let's jump into hard mode as the Keeper and see what we can get done. For starters... Wait a minute. For starters, he starts with 3 HP. Also, he has a slightly better fire rate. Um, he doesn't have um, quite as bad negative to his speed anymore. And yeah, just all-round improved Keeper. Very excited for improved Keeper. So we should see a pretty big uh, tick up in our abilities to do good with Keeper. Because three coins of starting HP is a massive, massive improvement. That is like night and day amazing. Uh, we're going to try and unlock his ult and try and do the big bad boss as him. I very highly doubt that we'll do too well, but we are going to try. And also, for those of you wondering, because I'm sure many of you are at this point, what are you going to do for the thumbnails, Turtle? What are you going to do for the alt character thumbnails? And I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm probably going to, obviously, I'm, I'm going to keep the ones that I have now. I'm not making, I'm not getting skulls to make a whole new ones. That would take literally forever. Um, but what I will do is I will be tweaking or changing the existing ones slightly so that they reflect their alt status. Because a lot of them visually, a lot of the alt characters don't. I've, ha I've had a little look, a little peek at the sprites, because I kind of needed to, to think about thumbnails. Um, I've had a little sneak peek at them, and they they all have visual differences, but none of them are major. They're like differences in their hairstyle, or as you saw with uh, Lilith then, slightly different weight. Midas touch. Oh, that's nice. Golden body is the keeper. Um, So, knowing that, we might be able to uh, just kind of tweak them a little bit. Probably tweak the background and the colouring scheme of the uh, of the whole thumbnail. Oh, wait. Has Midas Touch changed or did we just get really lucky? Maybe Midas Touch just changed. Yeah, my, either Midas Touch has changed or we just got, like, incredibly lucky. Because I've never once in my entire life seen two golden poops in the same room. Especially not in a boss fight. This is very, very peculiar. We're doing okay against him so far. It does seem as well, but I'm not 100% sure on this, but... <gasps> Triple Shot seems to have a way, way tighter spread than normal. Like, a lot tighter. We're going to keep those coins there, because why the hell wouldn't we? Okay, so he just does one really high-speed dash. Interesting. Grab that. Constellation prize, increasing our fire rate, honestly. That's pretty good with me. Uh, grab all of that. Grab all of that. I don't think we saw anything in our shop we wanted. We, we ought to go back and grab this coin, though. But Midas Touch, 
pretty happy to have that. In fact, if we can manage to get a coin from a single one of these, in fact, ah, oh, I tried to use my spares bar to get a single coin. I didn't even remember what was in our shop, but we might as well check it. We've got the star key. Oh, we don't need to get in there anymore. We've already been in because it's already open. You don't require a key on the first floor anymore, you dingus. That's not a thing. They changed that because they're, ma they're very nice. Let's go have a little look. See, was there any items we wish to buy in here? Of course, there is a mystery item. I would very much like that. Honestly, we're playing as the keeper. I'm sorry, donation machine. Hive mind is fantastic as the keeper. We're going to be getting flies on the regular from soul hearts and other sources. So why the hell not? Let's go on down. Let's go on down. And again, we're not taking the alt path this time, especially not as the keeper, because that that's uh, that's really saucy. That is something that, that, that would definitely get us killed. Uh, and we're going to start going for more Magdalene kills soon as well. Um, so we're not going to get any HP from this, but we will get damage. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to be going for... What did I even say then? Did I say Magdalene? I said something stupid. I meant Mother. I meant to say Mother. We're going to go for a bunch more Mother kills soon as well. I'm not exactly sure when, but we'll get back to them because I want to keep going on the alt path. And of course, for the main thing, I want to get unlocks. Unlocks is the lifeblood of this game. Unlocking new items, getting off those completion marks. And we, we don't want to... We don't want to fill ourselves up too much in all the new content. Let's experience it slowly. Let's uh, let's take our time with the alt characters. We'll, we'll go through the process of unlocking them and we'll test them out a little bit. Golden bombs, rather nice. We'll test them out a little bit, but I am not going to... Um, I'm not going to go all out and... Um, and just play all of them and try and get completion marks on them straight away. I'd rather play uh, the other characters and try and unlock stuff. Keeper is already feeling way, way better to play. Way, way better. Right. Kill this spider. One moment. I'm back. I had a really itchy nose hair. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to tell you, but I did. But yeah, so Keeper's feeling great. Keeper's feeling a lot better. Ooh, I'll definitely take Locust to Famine. Why not? Um, I, I'm pretty sure these benefit from BFF as well, so, um, not BFF, fair uh, hive mind. So even better for us. But yeah, essentially, we need to, at, at the least, we need to try and make our way down to that bottom floor. Uh, at the most, we need to beat the last boss. <laughs> I very highly doubt, unless we get just some sort of god run going, that we'll be able to do that. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. Oh, we got golden bombs. Also, because we got golden bombs, why not just bomb every single wall looking for a secret room? We ought to do that. I mean, there's already been an explosion there anyway, so it can't be there, but... I ought to check. I ought to check. Also, any pots about? I know that, um, I know that it's been nerfed, but gulp, um, gulp penny or whatever it's called, swallowed penny, would still be very nice to have. Apparently now it only gives a chance of giving a coin rather than a guarantee like it used to, which makes it way less powerful. But honestly, with 3 HP, we no longer feel like we need it, so... That's at least a good thing. Right. Step over. I'm just going to quickly get rid of... Oh, that's, this is a room with combat. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I don't know why I thought this was a room that we'd already completed, but it's most certainly not. I mean, luckily, our damage is actually getting us through this quite easily. Come on now, spider. Don't be like that. Don't be like that, my dude. Don't be like that, you little crawly boy. Plant a bomb there. See what this bomb does. No spurders, no spurders. We are getting no spurders today, by the looks of things. But at least we can use our bombs in our boss fight, and they'll do a pretty damn good job. Oh, we're looking... I was just about to say, what were we doing again? Looking for secret rooms? That's that's what. How was that not the secret room? Okay, so it's got to be here, right? No? Damn, where the hell is the secret room? I am perplexed right now. Perplexed. There's one of them. And it's a good room too. Right, let's quickly take care of these fires so we don't get shot at. And both of them. Extra few pennies from this one. A charged one from that. Boom. 
I can't believe that hit me. I mean, it doesn't matter because we get the pennies anyways, but I still can't believe that hit me. I was apparently stood a little bit too close to that by the looks of things, but there you go. Room's darkening off quite a bit. Right. Last secret room. I'm actually kind of confused about where it must be. It's got to be down near the, near where that cash room is. We're in that one room we haven't been to yet. Like, it's got to be in here, right? It's got to be right here. What? What? I am confusion. What the heck? I genuinely have no idea where this could be. Here? Here? Hmm. I have lost a secret room. <laughs> I have completely lost a secret room. We bombed all of those. Can't be there. Did we check here? There it is. Okay. Bit more sense there. Bit more sense made. Golden bombs, golden bombs. How are you so beautiful? Did we go in our shop? We did, didn't we? Yeah. Right. Let's carry on. Do our boss. Hello, bossy bossy. Duke of flies. I have to say Duke of flies. <laughs> I'm going to say golden bombs are kind of uh, kind of your primary weakness. Deal the devils. Oh, deal the devils cost money now as the keeper. I was just about to say, Deal the Devils are pretty useless, but they're better with 3 HP, but no. They're entirely different, because they cost money. Does Horror Babylon work for us? I don't actually know. But we have the money to buy it, so why the hell not? So Keep has actually received some significant buffs. As long as we can garner the money together, we're able to get ourselves, um... We're able to get ourselves some Deal of the Devils here. Oh my god, the water looks so good in here still. I say it every time, but it, it baffles me how good it looks. I love it. This is just a normal maggot, right? Take him out first. Yep. Okay, so getting deals with the devils with the keeper is something we definitely want to do. Okay, good. We got that coin. It's so good now having three health because you don't have to race to get the coin. You can just leisurely take your time. Also, Midas Touch. Where? Wait a minute. <laughs> Is Midas Touch, like, super OP as the Keeper? Can I just, like, walk into enemies and get money for it? Oh, hello. This is uh, a room that would have had a lot of healing in it, apparently. One of those special rooms. So we got a lot of flies. Hmm. So, maybe Midas Touch is, like, really overpowered. Up in here. So we don't really want to spend money at the shops, although nuns have it. We 100% want to spend money on that. Damn you. I will spend money on nuns have it any day of the week. Okay. Oh, our flies are just doing such a good job right now. Our damage is insane too. We got this motherfucker. All our flies just wrecked him. Okay, we've been hit once. If you could like open up for like two seconds, there you go. Right, so we're down one health at the minute. I think we go back in, bomb the donation machine, and get ourselves um, get ourselves some pennies. One to heal us up, the rest to buy nuns habit. So let's go to our item room. But now we can charge our wooden nickel off of getting hit. Which is very, very nice. I wouldn't exactly say it's the best item ever for uh, for the Keeper, but it's still very, very good. Nice. Oh, the water skating effect then when you knock all the coins about is very nice. Also, cash rooms are now possible for Keeper. You, you can go to a cash room without the risk of, of, uh, of guaranteed death. I wouldn't really call guaranteed death a risk. More so... A guarantee. <laughs> uh, so we do get this, which gives us five bombs. It's okay, but obviously not great for us right now. Uh, probably do want to do this room as well. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do it. We will get charges for our um, active. We can take pills as well. I don't think you can get health down pills as keeper anymore. I actually got paralysis. 
I actually got paralysis. I didn't mean to pick up that coin. Fuck. Fucking hell. Yeah, these guys are not too big of a problem. Nice. These guys are a bit more of a big of a problem. There's only two of them. Oh, no, there is three of them. There is three. The other one just decided not to show up for work. Nice. We've got everything we need. Sadly, we're stepping away from this floor with a little bit less than I'd like. But we're coming down to the next floor with another 15 cent, which means another deal of the devil. It definitely seems like Whore of Babylon is unable to activate with this guy, which I kind of expected, but I was maybe thinking, because it's not technically Red Heart, maybe we can cheat around it. I've never taken it as the keeper before, but obviously it seems that the game was, was in full knowledge of what I was about to do. In full knowledge of what I was going to do there. <laughs> it knew. It heckin' knew. But we should be able to get, and I'm hoping with this run so far, we should be able to get the ult relatively easily. Yep, that was well worth the cost of doing business, thank you. And Dimbulb. Honestly, yep, Dimbulb is really worthwhile. Basically, whenever we use our wooden nickel, we get a massive stat upgrade, and that is, that is actually a huge stat upgrade. Good. Damage up. This is some good stuff we've got going on right now. Some really good stuff. Our damage is looking buku crazy. Does, can this guy hit me? Yes, he can. I was wondering if he can even, like, target me from there, but obviously he can. This guy just keeps moving over. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, go get our item room. The speed down is like, we get 0.5 speed off of this. That's crazy. The stats that you get from that penny is is kind of mental. I'm liking that a lot. Um, I'm fine for that room, thank you. I hate this room with a passion. That room is absurd. <laughs> That room is absurd. Do you know what? Here, look, look, look as we go into these rooms. There's a rock on the wall that perfectly lines up with the coins on, on Keeper's Health that looks like a fourth heart. And I was like, oh, look, we got four HP now. When did that happen? Nope. That's not what's going on there. Also, can we walk into turds to make them into golden poops? We can't. Sometimes that works. Good. Good. Speed down, pretty bad. I found pills and ate them. Speed down's pretty bad, but we, we luckily get a massive speed boost whenever we use our wooden nickel, so it's not that bad, really. Can we get across here? Yes, we can. We're just moving around rooms while we've got to activate. It's kind of bad. Oh, we can see through our face. What's causing that? Our face is see-through. Very strange. Very strange indeed. There are some odd things going on with our sprite right now. Oh, damn. That's some big boys. Oh, our damage is spicy right now. The fire rate alone is great. Compass. I think we want to save for deal with the devil money. So I'm going to just leave that. Right, let's go to our boss fight. Oh, yeah. Traversing between rooms is kind of, kind of horrible with this low speed. We still haven't found our item room, actually. I'm like, let's just go. And then I'm realizing, oh, wait. We still don't have our item yet. That's kind of why we came here. Oh, my God. Just the flies. It's just... It's nuts how good this is. How do we get such a good keeper run? Right. Item room... This could ruin everything, but I'm going to take it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, ex it's not worked the way I thought it was. Damn it. For some reason, I really did think that triple shot plus, like, the whiz would give us three tiers either side. No, no, no. It has done no such thing. It also seems to have lowered our fire rate, which is not how the whiz used to work, I don't think. 
So this is bad. <laughs> that was a, a foolish, a foolish pick up there. Uh, I really did think though that it would give us triple shot either side, not double shot. Because that's kind of, you know, how it works. Maybe they changed it. At least we've got an easy boss here. But hitting things ain't going to be so easy for us anymore. We didn't get a coin there either, so... This is already proving to be a pain in the ass. This guy can spawn a lot more now. I took a gamble, alright? I took a gamble. It was a bad gamble. <laughs> I had to. I shouldn't gamble with good runs, but I had to try. I just don't get why it's lowered our fire rate. The Wiz never used to do that. Like, the Wiz was never bad. Although it does, it does do one thing. It gives us spectral tears. Are you kidding me, dude? Also, Midas Touch is terrible on this guy. We get no money from enemies killed. So yeah, this is this is just uh, balked all of the plans we had before. I'm so disappointed. I really thought it was going to be double, triple shot. So we'd have three shots coming from either eye and it'd be relatively easy to still hit things. I knew it would definitely be more difficult, but I still thought it'd be relatively easy. But this definitely, definitely makes things better. If we can get some range up, this definitely makes me feel better about my decision. Because now it's a bit easier to hit things. Yeah, this is this is actually really good. Being able to shoot over rocks and everything. I don't really have to aim as much anymore. Okay. You have you have brought yourself back from the brink game. You you almost made me cry. But you have you have somewhat redeemed yourself. You have somewhat redeemed yourself. Just don't, don't do anything shitty and also give me like one more really good item. Also, what floor are we on? Dank Depths 1. Okay, so we've got another floor left yet. No, um... Oh. we got no, uh, no coin this room. Big rooms are our, are our weakness right now because we just can't hit things very well. Where's the last enemy? Oh, it's, it's a segment over here. Good, good. Hello, door. What do you have in you? <sighs> I can't even believe single grey chest uh, trap rooms still exist. So unbelievably not worth it. Like, what is with all the big rooms, game? What is with all the big rooms? Ooh, that was close. But I got you, I got you. Oh my god. 24 coins and counting. That doesn't really do anything for us, does it? Apart from making things worse. But in small rooms like this, it kind of wrecks stuff. It kind, it kind of, it kind of kills things pretty fast. Yes, I like this. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. I think I'm just heading, heading to, yeah, I'm heading to the boss room, aren't I? But yeah, in thin corridors. This actually has somehow worked out for me, so... Bully to me, I guess. Yeah, chaser enemies are going to be a problem because we can't directly shoot them. Get on the angle and we're good. Good, good, good. Oh. These guys are going to be an absolute nightmare, I think. Okay, luckily we have the damage to outperform them, though. Oh, these guys have a really cool animation with that little spider, spider sort of web coming out of their head. Oh, if we could get like, um, just like a massive range of like whipworm or something. Although I would, would want to keep my, um, dimmed bulb. The dimmed bulb is too good. Good, good. Right, what boss we got? Monster 2, pretty simple for us. He's going to spawn a bunch of flies. The flies he spawns, he'll end up killing. That's not a problem. Yeah, we could, if we get down near a wall, we can shoot diagonally up and shoot all four shots in the same place. That's really powerful. Like, hug the walls. Also, this is pretty good. Shot speed actually does make a difference to us. Judgment. 
I mean, we can't take that, but it's cool to find out that we can get steam sails in here. <laughs> I'd love to take that because, like, just, just for a moment... Oh, that depresses me so much. I want this so bad. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot get rid of wooden nickel though. But that is so fucking cool. I bet, I bet the main reason Keeper has 3 HP is so that he can still get into Mausoleum. Because they were like, how the fuck is Keeper going to get into Mausoleum and pay two, two coins? He'll die. And they were like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Let's just do this real quick. Yeah, also our dimmed bulb wouldn't be as good with air sulfur either, but that would have been that would have been top tier. Right. Another Oh my god. We got two for. Small rock. Oh, okay, our speed is our speed is balked. Our speed is completely boxed. Right, let's um, let's actually let's not pay this man yet, cause we might still get a deal with the devil. But yeah, if we're if we're not using dim bulb, we have the lowest speed ever. But yeah, shot speed, as you can see, has uh, has helped out immensely. Shot speed has made a big difference. I'm very much liking that. Good. Destroy the fires. Destroy the fires. Let's go. This is a bad room for us. Good, good. Oh, he still hit me, you cheeky bastard. Cheeky boy. But yeah, we got our fool card. I didn't even mention it when we grabbed it, but we got our fool card. We are good to go. I I've got so much money now. What? Oh, my God. Goodness. My goodness. This is a room. Nine chests, you say. Just so happens that I have nine keys. Let me go and find my item room, but then I will I will come back to this gladly. I didn't realize that I got hit then. Not knowing my health's like a minor problem, but for the most part, I, I kind of know what health I'm on because I've only got three to ever keep track of. Good. Nothing really worthy in there. I mean, Perke goes pretty good. But, like, not top tier. That's really good. R Botfly, that's going to help us. Apparently, that's, uh, it just shoots things that are in the air for us. Get away from me. Yeah, if, if tears come towards us, it's, it's kind of like Sci-Fly, but different. I don't know how it's different, but it is different. Right. Um, let's go in here and boom. Uh, boom. Latch keys. Pretty good because it allows us to get two more chests open. Range. We said we needed range. Quickly get rid of... I can't believe that just hit me. You cheeky little shitbag. Broken syringe gives a random syringe. Two of clubs is extra bombs. I guess we should blow these up for uh, the, the chance at good cards. I know that most of the time we're just going to get hearsts, but... Yeah, we didn't get anything. We got a bunch of flies, though, which is going to make Mum a hell of a lot easier. Which is lovely. Let's go. Oh, our speed is unbearable right now. But yeah, Mum should die pretty instantly here. I don't know why, but I always take the negative for doing this quest. There's that fool card. This is going to be the hardest part. Getting getting through this floor is going to be particularly difficult for us. And we got the harder version of the floor too. Why wouldn't we? I still love the, the music on this floor. It's like intense and so good. Okay, I did the foolisher thing again. Good, 
Good. I'm going to leave that coin there just in case we need to come back for it. We at least know our health this time, though. But yeah, the fact that we now got shot speed and range makes this whole setup a lot better. And also, a lot and a lot of enemies fire on cardinal directions. So we might actually find that we're staying out of the way of many, many different enemies here. How did I not get hit there? Good. Now. Okay, if we could hold two trinkets, that might have been worth taking. We've still got an item room here uh, and... Um, still got an item room here and a shop, so definitely want to go to those. I doubt we'll have Deal with the Devil here, though. But yeah, I wonder how duct tape works with Robo Baby. Uh, Robo Fly, even, should I say. I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. This run has legs. Why would I risk those wee little leggies for uh, a potential a potential payout? Now this is annoying. Rubber baby, thank you. I keep I only keep calling him Rubber baby. Rubber fly. I'm sorry, my dude. I can't believe I took this fucking stupid ass gamble on um on the dunce cap, and it ended up paying out. How how is that gonna happen? Crazy stuff. If you're wondering why I'm leaving coins behind a lot, it's because I don't really need the money after this floor, and uh, it means that it's health to pick up later. So why not? Like it means I don't have to backtrack so far to get health. Oh, I've never actually seen these guys fire before, so that's kind of interesting. So if they touch the wall, they uh, they do boom. Luckily, bouncy tears seem like they're pretty good against these guys. Still having a real hard time killing them though. But again, these guys fire on cardinal directions, so not as big of a problem for us. The no, I keep thinking this is going to be a boss fight, and then it's not. Let's do it. It's, it's gone. Just it's gone. Good, good. Again, it's a dime, but I don't need shops. So I'm just going to leave it as extra HP. Robofly, you are being an absolute savior right now. Thank you. I will take the key. I don't know if I need those for anything. I didn't leave a trinket in any of the rooms, did I? Oh, shit. I didn't leave a trinket in any of the rooms, so we're not gonna get uh, we're not gonna get what we want. I don't even think there was any in any of the boss rooms either, if I remember correctly. Fuck! I forgot about that step. Don't worry about it though. We can still give it give it a chance at un uh, beating the boss. Unlikely to be able to do that because I still don't really know the boss well enough to do that, but we can certainly give it a go. We can certainly give it a go. Damn, I'm so stupid. I should have known that. There is a possibility that one of the boss rooms does have um, uh, a thingy in it. Or one of the uh, item rooms does have a trinket in it that I didn't re remember. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bank on that. Sad times when you forget a very important step. My God. Crazy to think this is all just a story for Isaac. <laughs> He's kind of a messed up kid. Okay, we don't need our money now, so let's play this dude to our heart's content. He could give us some good stuff. Just a key for now. Come on, little dude. Little buddy. Want to pay out with something? Nope. He wants to kill himself. Yera? We got a lucky penny as well. Okay, remember, big rooms are our, our biggest downfall at the minute. We just have a harder time hitting everything. Good. good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. I can't believe how stupid I am for getting that. 
That was not good, everybody. That was a, a classic example of not good. I'll remember it next time, though. Don't worry. We got... The thing is, as well, we're going to be playing this DLC forever. So we got plenty of time to do things. If I forget things or miss things, we can go back and do it another time. It's never a lost cause. We've wasted... At most, a bit of time. And like I said, we're not going to be playing the alt characters for a while anyway, so. I will be a bit sad if I end up uh, if I end up killing this dude and then do and, and haven't done it because then I have no reason to come back apart from for fun, which as the Keeper does not sound like something I'd do. This little dude. That little enemy is the worst. <laughs> God. Oh, the bomb hit me. Oh. It got me. There's a dime. Still don't need the money, though. You watch, there'll be an unlock for, like, having 99 coins as the keeper or something, won't they, that I'm missing out on. I guess I'll pick it up for that reason, just in case. Why not? I want to get the hell away from this thing when it bursts. We didn't go to the item room this time. We want to go to the item room every time, just in case. Just in case I did leave one. We did leave an item in this one, but no trinket. The, the, the annoying thing is I saw many trinkets I could have left. This is the Monstro 2 room, although this is definitely a harder variation of the Monstro 2 room. Can you bomb out of rooms in this area, I wonder? Like I said... Having a hard time because it's a big room. We, it big room's basically half our damage. Go for this. Could give us a good card. I'm trying to think of what would be good to take in for ourselves, but I don't really know. Wheel of Fortune. Also, trinkets. Forgot about that. There could be a trinket that's somehow better. Although, I'm doubting that. I mean, it could give a swallowed penny, I suppose. It can give any trinket, I think. Some of these machines take forever to pay out as well. Extra bouncy shots. You will die. Blame nobody but yourself. Nobody knows the troubles you've seen. Give up. Oh my god. These make me feel bad. Go to the next room. Use bombs wisely. No. Stop showing me the lucky numbers. Believe in yourself. Live to die. Follow the dog. Okay, this this one, this, this machine's broken. I suppose we've got zero luck, so that might be why. But like, come on now. We got a death card. I'd rather take the Yero, to be honest. It dead. Let's take the Yero. What the hell's that thing? Have we seen that before? I don't know, but it's jumping around like a madman. The hell is it? Is it? Oh, it's it's like two. Two bodies, like, staples together with no head. That's why it's jumping around so much. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful carnage. Yeah, this room's showing up again. We did get hit on this one. I can't, I can't believe I forgot the trinket. So stupid. I was so involved in, the, uh, in how good the run was. Whoa, this enemy's cool too. There are some really cool enemies down here. Just keep him back. Whoa. He is not dying. He is not going down without a fight, that dude. No. Up we go. Last floor. This, this like, super mulligan's so cool, too. Boom, 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 boom. I didn't even think as well. We're getting shot speed and range from our all stats up. 
That's still really, really good for us. Good, good. You're all dead. Somehow a trinket in here. Heck. I was hoping. Oh, wait. My money went down to zero. Oh, of course it did. I fucking played a machine for the past 20 minutes. What am I on about? Of course it's gone down, you dumbass. I spent it all. Keep going. In we go. And I just fucking used my swallowed penny, whatever it's called. Damn it, it doesn't recharge either. Binky's great. Temperance. I can't believe I did that. Give us... I can't believe I used it beforehand. That's so stupid of me. Okay. Gotta hope that I get red key from the chest, but I doubt I will. That is a key, but it's not red key. <laughs> right. This is not going to be very possible, I don't think. <laughs> I have to say, I don't think we have a very good chance here. One good thing, we don't have to focus on dodging too much because of Robofly, and also we don't have to focus on aiming too much because we've got Bouncy Tears. Okay. I love the staticky sounds. Sounds so good. Luckily, these are heavily projectile-based bosses. So we do better off with um, someone like Sci-Fly helping us out. There you go, second phase. Second phase is where we're going to die. Because I keep getting contact damaged by this boss. And I can't figure out how to not. And also, he doesn't use a lot of projectiles. So... Oh my god. Sci-Fly can destroy these, which is great. This is the bit that I suck at, though. I got hit. And I got hit again. But this is it. We're basically dead. I don't know how anyone does this as the Keeper. But I most certainly can. Oh my... That attack's too fucking hard to dodge. Okay, we got through this phase, but we've now uh, we've now got to fight the sins, and I doubt that's going to go so so well with one heart. And we didn't get a coin. Also, bouncy tears suck in here. Oh, we got full health and holy mantle when we went in here. But yeah, um, big problem. Bouncy tears suck ass in here. So. Basically, yeah, we have very, very bad damage in here. I can't kill these flies. Okay, I did actually manage to kill some of them, but they were tough. Famine, could you just not? Famine, could you just not? Okay, you're doing this again. I just can't hit him with this setup. Like, I, I'm just shooting over him constantly. We've only just got him into his second phase, so... It does not bode well. To put it simply, it does not bode well. We got him. Basically, we have to get really, really, really lucky with our penny to do well here. And we didn't get lucky. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm basically dead because he's just shook poison all over. Whoa, that's new. Yep, that's new. I'm dead. I can't, I can't get any more health now either. That's new. Dude, that's new. <laughs> you never did that before, so just, like, stop. Either way, that was the keeper. Sadly, sadly... We did not unlock the ult either, because I'm stupid. <laughs> I completely forgot that you have to do the uh, trinket dropping method. Either way, that was a fun keeper run. Weirdly, spoil, unspoil, and then respoil by me taking Dunscap. 
Very strange. Probably would have been a lot better off without it. I... I don't really know how on earth anyone is meant to be able to do that as Keeper without Nun's Habit and a bunch of other, like, breaking shit. Like, that attack that, that, um, that Dogma does is absurd. And, yeah, this phase, imagine getting through all of this without getting hit. That'd be, that's nuts. Either way, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.